rubbing elbows with business leaders, exploring career pathways, giving students a jump start on their future. That's the mission of an upcoming Life Ready Expo sponsored by Henrico County Public Schools Department of Workforce and Career Development. Its director, Mac Benton, says it's all about giving students a real taste of the work world. Last year's event drew in 4,000 plus students and parents who connected with more than 150 local employers. They were talking about the career pathway and what it takes to get into this career pathway. Many were telling their own stories on how they got into where they were and what they're doing now and the pathway they took. COVID forced organizers to pivot this year, taking the Life Ready Expo series online. The virtual events will each have a specific career focus, from business and technology to health services, industrial and engineering technology, even arts and communications. Beverly Cox says 7th through 12th graders from Henrico and all surrounding school systems can participate through Microsoft Teams. They'll first log on to a homeroom area. When they go into the homeroom area and they will be given a list of the businesses that are participating and the links to click onto those rooms. And then they will virtually hop in and out of those rooms through a two-hour period. The, the students are asking very powerful questions, detailed questions, and the employers are, are being able to answer them and spend time talking to the students. Both say it's a great way to nudge students into thinking about career interests now so they can develop a plan of action for their future. Give that student that voice and put them in charge of what their interests are. And we're just providing those platforms uh, for them to talk to businesses and build the connections. The Life Ready Expo virtual events will be scheduled from 6 to 8 p.m. on January 26th, February 9th, February 23rd, and March 9th. Students and parents from all across the region are invited, but you do need a link. We'll put that on WTVR.com.